think we can sometimes have a lot of fear around what if someone asks me something I don't know. Totally. Yeah, 100%. Or what if I am unsure about yeah. my own answer to that question or like what the Bible says about that question. Yeah. You know, and mm-hmm. I, that that has caught me up many times. Like, mm. oh, well, you know, I heard that the Bible says this and I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've probably read the whole thing over the course of my faith, but I don't actually know if I have. Right. I certainly don't have it all memorized. Like, yeah, right. that does sound bad. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> There's plenty of stuff that does sound totally. bad. And yeah. I think that that catches people up a lot to yes. even begin or once right. they have begun, that's kind of where the conversation can go downhill sometimes. Totally. And I'm curious if you guys have like tips for people or just wisdom on that because mm. I think that's really common. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> and because there's like <laughs> because you also don't know what's happened in any of that person's life mm-hmm. that's sitting there. Yeah. And let's say God's spirit's like, hey no, talk to them. And then this 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 other like question comes up like, well, I don't know what an- like what what question they're gonna ask. And I'm definitely not gonna like have all the answers yeah. because you're a finite person that has finite experiences and a finite amount of time. You're not going to have them all. And I, I think that in there is like just realizing that you are mm-hmm. you Christians should mm-hmm. like all of us should feel released from having all the answers. Yes. Like, amen to that. <laughs> you know, like yeah. there is so much power in the phrase. I don't know. Let's find out together. Mm-hmm. You know, like I've, I've never thought of that question before. Yeah. That's an incredible question. I don't know the answer, but do you want to like find out the answer together? Right. Right. Yeah. It makes me think about like Josh, what you said earlier that like we're always evangelizing something yes. and we don't feel the need to know everything about those things that we right. talk about. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. It's exactly what you said where we will kind of put our faith in like this whole different realm, this whole different box where we do need to have every answer. We're going to blow it. But like, if you're telling somebody about like this new restaurant that you went to that you had a great experience at, like you love the food, you had a really great time and you go to work ne- the next day and you're telling somebody about it and they're like, well, where did the, what farms do they source their yes, food from? I was just thinking that same thing. Like you're not going to freak out. You're going to be like, oh, I don't know. But like, I know it was really bomb, you know? <laughs> and we yeah. like, oh shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I everything. <laughs> or like when, what day did they open? Like, Yes. What you know is your experience that yes. you had and you are an expert on that experience and like that's what you have to share and you want to share about it because you want someone else to have that awesome experience too. Yeah. And people want to talk to someone who is like that. Like right. Right. people don't want to at least I probably don't want to talk to someone who pretends to know everything yeah. and just like makes up like fake not fake answers but like puts on this front to pretend like they have all of the answers figured out and so if you feel Uh like you don't know you can say that like if you know the answer and you sound pretty smart when you're saying it like go ahead and say the answer like if you sound dumb don't don't. though (laughs) yeah Yeah. if there's any hesitation in your voice you better not say a word i mean (laughs) just kidding um but I'm like having this internal battle right now of like, I like always want to sound right. And so I'm like, am I talking to myself as well? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just think that it, somebody who's listening to you, even though maybe your external motivation might be, they want me to have the answers. They want me to have it all together. And that is like an insecurity of yours. Like I will bet you that somebody listening to you actually will respect you more when you are honest. And when you say, I don't know, rather than feeling the pressure of Mm -hmm. giving them an answer for the sake of giving them an answer. Like that's just really powerful and it's a lot more inviting. And Yeah. yeah, there is an element of like, letting go of that of that pressure that we put on ourselves and that um, insecurity we might have of not having all of the knowledge well especially when your life demonstrates you don't have all the answers yes because then like we cannot say that we need and depend on jesus and then say at the same time but i got it all figured out like 
Right. The whole point right. is that like you need Jesus and you don't have all the answers and you have faith in him and you're trusting in him. So to, so to on, say Josh. otherwise is <laughs> right. just like disingenuous yeah. and it's not true or, or setting a very good example for the people in front of you of what the Christian life is about. Mm. It actually perpetuates this, this stereotype that people have of Christians that, that it's all about just doing the right things and being good and being a good person and checking off the boxes right. uh, and, and just having a certain lens of life versus like, no, Christianity isn't about those things. Christianity is about knowing and following Jesus, right. which is, which is very different. And, uh, and so being honest with someone and saying, I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. And I'm learning about it with God. All I know is I need God and I'm not perfect. And it, because when you do do that, it makes someone feel like they have to do a lot of work before they can come into that faith. It makes them right. feel like right. there's a lot of things that you got to do or you got to figure out before you can get to where I am. Right. And that's just ridiculous. It's actually not helpful to anyone to just kind of act like you need to have the answers to convince someone. Sure. Mm-hmm. So if sharing the gospel is about convincing someone, it makes sense why you feel that mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. But it's not about convincing someone. Mm-hmm. It's about sharing the like what you know to be true and sharing authentically that and inviting them in. Yes. Uh, yeah. You're inviting them into the same experience that you presently are having. Hopefully yeah. yep. you can only invite people into the experience that you're having. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. 